everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. I haven't done a sit down video in what feels like forever. I actually don't think I've done one since maybe September, which is crazy. I'm gonna get straight on and show you everything because I have quite a lot of stuff because I haven't shown you guys new stuff since September. So let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna start with Topshop and these are my most recent purchases. So the first thing I have is this amazing faux fur coat. It's in like a light pink. They also do this in like a leopard print with a pink collar. It's very shrimps-esque. So yeah, I got mine in a size 10 because I always size up in jackets so that I can wear chunky knitwear underneath. So yeah, this is the jacket and I got 10% off the student discount but originally it's about £80 which is very expensive but it's really nicely made and a good quality coat. I also think the colour is just stunning, it's a very light pink and very easy to wear this sort of really light pink. So very excited about this. Next up from Topshop I got a pair of jeans. These are the Hayden jeans and again I sized up in these. I'm kind of like in between an 8 and a 10 in Topshop jeans so I went for a 10 in these. Um, they look like this. Um, they're very baggy and just sort of slouchy style which I love. I get so many compliments on my um, pull and bear jeans. I'm actually wearing them now. They're like really slouchy and just straight cut and I just love styling them. I think they're really figure flattering if you're wearing like a really tight top. So I love these and I'm super excited to start styling them up. And these were £46 which again Topshop is not cheap anymore. It never really was cheap, but it was definitely cheaper than it is now. The next pair of jeans from Topshop are not something that I was planning on buying when I went onto the website, but I couldn't resist them. And they were in a sale for about £30, I think, and they were sold out completely except from my size. So I was like, this is fate. <laughs> and they are these rhinestone um, chap-esque skinny jeans. And oh my goodness. Look, it's just like a disco party in a pair of jeans. I just think it's so cool and like, and they've got this really gorgeous little belt that goes all the way around the top of the jeans. And they're just so well made. Originally they were 60, 65 pounds. So I would never have paid that much for these jeans, but they were in sale, so I thought I'd give it a go. So I'll link them and hopefully they'll still have some sizes come back or things like that. Then the last thing from Topshop is a little bag. I could have bought so many bags on Topshop. They have so many great bags. And I've also got like a little obsession for bags at the moment. Just little cute bags and just bags in general. There's actually four bags in this haul, so that's really bad. I always think when you see a good bag, you just have to get it because bags don't come around very often, I don't think. <laughs> so this is the bag I picked up from Topshop and it's got very sort of Chloe vibes to it. This is what it looks like. It was £25, which is very expensive for something like this. It's actually got a lot of room inside, so that's good, because I was worried that it was just gonna be a little bit of a fad little bag. I think it's super cute. Will look really cool with like all the denim. <laughs> also did this in like a brown, which would probably be more wearable, but there's something kind of really 90s about the blue that I loved, so I picked it up in the blue. Moving on, I'm gonna cover the other website that I got mainly bags from, <laughs> and that is Stradivarius. Or Stradivarius, I really don't know how you say the name of this brand, but anyway, the first bag is this super cute little faux fur leopard print bag. They also had one a bit like this on Topshop, I think, but this one was so much cheaper and they had all of their accessories are like nearly 50% off or something stupid. Um, so yeah, it just opens up like this. You can see inside. It's not made that well, to be honest. Like this buckle, you really have to like push the bag in to get it to twist. <laughs> I can't do it one handed. It's really cute and the straps can go really long if you want them or shorter like that so yeah i like having it like that or long and across the body yeah i just think it's really cute the next two bags 
These are the last bags, I promise. <laughs> when I saw these on the website, I just instantly knew that I had to have them and that they were right up my street. <laughs> but they're basically little faux shirling tote bags. How cute! My mum really wants the black one. So I might give the black one to her and then just keep this little teddy bear one. They hold quite a lot in them. Obviously they don't hold a laptop, which is always my wish in every bag. But yeah, how cute, so cute. And they also have long straps. So yeah, these are my bag loves at the moment. Then the one item of clothing I picked up is this turtleneck black ribbed dress. It's kind of like midi maxi length. It goes all the way down but um, I got this in a size small and it's got a really lovely split down the one leg. It's kind of like a relaxed fit as well which I really like. Sometimes I just feel really self-conscious if the dress is like super body con. I don't like wearing stuff like that out in daylight <laughs> if you know what I mean. So yeah that is that dress and I think I'd wear it with like an all black outfit or maybe like style it up with the teddy bear bag and then I could have like a teddy bear coat and some like little brown boots that would look quite cute. The final thing from Stradivarius is a pair of boots and I actually picked these up on ASOS because ASOS do student discount and this website does not <laughs> but these boots Oh my gosh, I am just so in love with them. They are like healed, but not too healed, so I can actually walk in them. Um, and they have like a pointy toe, um, and then they have this really like slouchy, relaxed fit all up the legs, and they don't fall down when you walk, which is just everything you want in an over the knee boot. So I think these will look so gorgeous, styled up with like floral dresses and like long midi dresses. And, um, and then look really cool with like jeans, like skinny jeans, and then maybe like a blazer on top, like a check blazer. Moving on, the next few things I've had for a little while, um, I'm about to show you a mohair jumper and it's already like attacking my face. So new things from H&M that I picked up are this mohair jumper. This is such a gorgeous jumper. I put quite a few pictures of me wearing this up on my Instagram and I just love it. It's such a gorgeous green. Very itchy if you're not used to wearing mohair. Um, I always recommend wearing like a thick cotton long sleeve underneath um, and then try and get it to go as high as you can up around the neck because for me, the neck is the most sensitive bit. When I'm testing jumpers out for itchiness, I always put it on my neck and see if I can cope with it and if it feels like horrible and itchy then it's gonna feel like that on your body. Next up from H&M, these have been my staple go-to trousers this winter. They are such an interesting cut. They're a little bit cropped and they kind of flare out a little bit so they're really really flattering um, and I just, oh my gosh, I have just got so much wear out of these already and I'm really considering buying a second pair because I think I'd be so sad if something happened to these. I got them in a size 8 which I can be quite scared about doing for H&M because sometimes I, like, I'm between an 8 and a 10 as I said in the trousers so um, these have kind of stretched a little bit I think because um, they're really comfortable to wear now. When I first tried them on I was a bit like ooh, like I was aware that they were on my legs like on my waist. So yeah they're quite pricey they're about £50 but then again, a pair of Topshop jeans are about 40 something pounds, so things are just getting more expensive, guys. And I'm really not looking forward to the day when I don't have student discount anymore because what am I going to do? And then the final thing from H&M is this really pretty little blouse. It's got really lovely little bell sleeves like this, and it's kind of itchy. That's the only problem I have, but it's a very pretty blouse. And I think it was quite cheap as well, so I'll link it all down below and you guys can have a look. But this looks really nice with those leather trousers or with jeans. It just sits really nicely with anything, really. Moving on to ASOS, we have a few tops. First one is this little polka dot 
number. Very cute. I haven't taken the tags off yet. Um, is this from a brand? Oh, this is from Bershka. Um, so it looks like this. It's just a little square neck. Um, long sleeve top and I'm so glad it's not a body. I hate bodies so much. I just don't see how giving yourself a wedgie 24-7 can be comfortable. And because I move around so much, I give myself a wedgie even more if I were to be wearing a body. And also a thong body just sounds like the most uncomfortable thing in the world. Like I'm okay with a thong, but not a thong body because then you'll definitely get a wedgie all the time. And then I found this little white square crop top, which I've actually been looking for something like this for so long because my friend Ella has one like this. And I've been looking for one like this for ages because my friend Ella has um, one like this and she wears it with like light coloured denim and it just looks so good. So I finally found one that I like and is this from a brand? This is the ASOS own brand so super cheap and very comfortable and a good fit so I'm happy with that. Okay my camera just cut out on me. So moving on next thing from ASOS is a jacket that you guys know I love if you watch my weekly uni vlogs um, and it is this puff jacket from Adidas. This is actually reversible so it's like puffer on this side but you can have it with the stripe like that um, on the other side but I like having it on the puffer side. I was searching for a down jacket for ages and I could just never find one that I wanted to spend the money on. Um, because they are quite expensive um, and then I found this one and it was kind of a reasonable price for a down jacket and I was like you know what I'm gonna get it and I've just loved it ever since love at first sight mm. okay next I have a really random purchase from um, Hollister but I found this when I went shopping the other day with my mum and it's just the softest biggest scarf I've ever seen in my favorite color course <laughs> and I just knew I had to have it and it was 30% off and then I also got 25% off for signing up to the newsletter which let's face it no one reads <laughs> and it came down to like 13 pounds or something so a bargain of a scarf really two little things from Zara this is a lot of stuff but this has been accumulating over quite some time now <laughs> so the first thing I have is a little pair of cropped jeans these are in the nicest light wash shade and they're a really interesting fit sometimes I feel like they look a bit strange but styled correctly they look okay I think as long as you wear boots that go up the ankle a bit with these then they look okay whereas when I just wear flats it looks a bit funny sometimes but I love these I think they look super cute and they actually in a weird way they can make your legs look really long <laughs> so I love these and the next step from Zara is this faux leather dress, nice black dress, it's super 60s in its cut. It's just one of those little dresses that if you're having like last minute drinks with friends or going out to a party then it's really easy to wear. And it's also like a dress that looks good with tights so I cannot not wear tights at this time of the year. And then last but definitely not least, I was very kindly sent a little dress from Free People and this is honestly like the perfect little Christmas party dress. It's got super ruffled shoulders and it goes into this not too low v-neck and then the bottom just has all these little godets just all the way around so there's like so much volume in the skirt. Oh my gosh I love it so much. When it's on it looks so good and it fits so well. I always go for an extra small in free people sizes because it's quite um they're quite like generous with their sizing um which in a US size is I think size four yeah it says size four on the label of this and I'm like a dress size eight so yay so that's everything for this haul I know that is a lot of stuff but I'm so happy with everything like these are all things that have been like meticulously selected <laughs> lots of stuff has been returned um and these are all like my favorite little pieces that i've been buying recently yeah i hope you guys have really enjoyed it let me know your favorite piece 
from this whole video in the comments down below. As always, I will link everything so you can buy it if you like it. I also want to thank you all for being very patient with me over the course of from September. I have been trying very hard to film and upload my uni content um, and filming a sit down video like this takes time um, which is why I can't do it anymore really I'm not meant to be doing it today <laughs> but I just really miss it so yeah I really really appreciate all the lovely messages that you guys give me about my stress and having time to upload um, it really means a lot so thank you guys for your lovely lovely comments um, yeah don't know when my next video like this will be able to go up because I have a lot of work to do over Christmas so yeah and then I go into my final major project so I honestly don't know where the last three years have gone it is just flown by that turned into a very long ending I'm sorry <laughs> but anyway I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video bye Mwah.